On the road to Emmaus Jesus appears to two men. Luke 24 13-35 Easy to read version. That same day two of Jesus' followers were going to a town named Emmaus. It is about seven miles from Jerusalem. They were talking about everything that had happened. While they were talking, discussing these things, Jesus himself came near and walked with them. But the two men were not allowed to recognize Jesus, he asked them. What's this I hear you discussing with each other as you walk? The two men stopped, their faces looking very sad. The one named Cleopas said, You must be the only person in Jerusalem who doesn't know what has just happened there. Jesus said, What are you talking about? They said, It's about Jesus, the one from Nazareth. To God and to all the people he was a great prophet. He said and did many powerful things. But our leaders and the leading priests handed him over to be judged and killed. They nailed him to a cross. We were hoping that he would be the one to free Israel. But then all this happened. And now something else, it has been three days since he was killed. But today some of our women told us an amazing thing. Early this morning they went to the tomb where the body of Jesus was laid. But they did not find his body there. They came and told us they had seen some angels in a vision. The angels told them Jesus was alive. So some of our group went to the tomb too. It was just as the women said. They saw the tomb, but they did not see Jesus. Then Jesus said to the two men, You are foolish and slow to realize what is true. You should believe everything the prophet said. The prophet said the Messiah must suffer these things before he begins his time of glory. Then he began to explain everything that had been written about himself in the scriptures. He started with the books of Moses and then he talked about what the prophets had said about him. They came near the town of Emmaus, and Jesus acted as if he did not plan to stop there. But they wanted him to stay. They begged him. Stay with us. It's almost night. There's hardly any daylight left. So he went in to stay with them. Joining them at the supper table, Jesus took some bread and gave, thanks. Then he broke some off and gave it to them. Just then the men were allowed to recognize him. But when they saw who he was, he disappeared. They said to each other, When he talked to us on the road, it felt like a fire burning in us. How exciting it was when he explained to us the true meaning of the scriptures. So the two men got up then and went back to Jerusalem. There they found the followers of Jesus meeting together. The eleven apostles and the people with them said, The Lord really has risen from death. He appeared to Simon. 
Then the two men told what had happened on the road. They talked about how they recognized Jesus when he shared the bread with them.